Okay, we have come to video number 3. Okay, just now we did on Fisher Effect Theory model. Now we will continue with International Fisher Effect um, Theory or model, IFE model. Okay, actually the IFE theory or model is actually the advanced version of the uh, in, in, of the Fisher effect theory, sorry, okay, it is an ex, uh, the the model that extends the standard uh, of the Fisher effect theory, and it is used in forex training and analysis. According to Irving Irving Fisher, again under this theory, the differences of interest rate between two countries' currency can be and by can be an unbiased predictor of the future change in the spot rate. What does it mean? Katanya. Perbezaan between two interest rate, we can use alright, uh, as a predictor of the future change in the spot rate. Kita boleh guna perbezaan dua interest rate ni untuk fokus berapa future spot rate. Alright, maybe six months from now or one year from now. Depends on the situation. Okay, so the this relationship, IFE model, okay, can uh, has been developed. By, under, by using this equation, okay? 1 plus I of home currency, what is I interest rate of home currency for a period given, for a period of time given, okay, T ni normally 6 bulan ke setahun ke, bahagikan dengan 1 plus interest of foreign currency, this interest rate differential will be equals to Future spot rate over current spot rate. Future spot rate, ET over EO spot rate, current spot rate. Okay, so these are the uh, definition of each of the symbol in the formula. Okay, and then to understand further, okay, let's take a look at this model again. Okay, given the question to you. Malaysia punya dominant rate 10%, Singapore punya dominant rate 15%, the expected inflation is 7% and 12%. The current spot rate given to you is Malaysian ringgit 2.99 over 1 Singapore dollar and one year forward rate is 2 ringgit and 84.05 cent per Singapore dollar. Okay, by using the same model, we can use two Calculate the ET. Datang mana ET equals to ni. formula yang sama kat sini. Tengok betul-betul. Kita nak cari ET. So, kita bawa EO ni naik atas. Jadi, apa? Jadi, dah darab. Ha, macam ni lah. ET equals to 1 plus I of home currency currency over 1 plus I of foreign currency times EO. Sebab apa EO ni kita dah bawa naik atas kat sini in order to find future spot rate one year from now. Okay? So, one year from now, the future spot rate will be Two ringgit and eighty six cent. Okay, so based on this theory, according to Fisher, <coughs> he said that a country, okay, with lower interest rate tend to appreciate. Okay, out of these two, siapa yang ada interest rate rendah? Malaysia. Malaysia has ten ten percent interest rate. Singapore has fifteen percent interest rate. So interest rate kat Malaysia lagi rendah. So country with lower interest uh, rate tend to appreciate in the future. And then, country with higher uh, interest rate will appreciate in the future. So, as we can see, betul lah, ringgit dijangka lebih mahal one year from now. Currently, 299 per 1 SGD. Later, after one year, the future spot rate expect, is expected to be 2 ringgit and 86 cent. Nampak tak? Mahal. Okay? Uh, jadi, Dia kata kat sini, Malaysia ringgit will appreciate at the same time Singapore dollar will depreciate. Okay. Alright, so we can conclude. Ha, tiga kali ulang. Lah. Country or currency with higher interest rate will depreciate in value while country or currency with lower interest rate will appreciate in value. Okay, from the same example, uh, another question that could be asked, dia kata apa, how much the interest rate of Malaysia would be if the future spot rate is 2 ringgit and 75 cent per Singapore dollar. Ha, dia bagi kali ni, future spot rate dia dah bagi, ET dia dah bagi. Dia tanya pada interest rate berapa, future spot rate akan jadi 2 ringgit and 75 cent. Uh, spot rate sama macam tadi lah, 299. So, by using the same formula, everything else are given except the interest rate. So, interest rate ni akan menghasilkan future spot rate banyak ni. So, kita nak cari uh, berapa interest rate Malaysia. Okay, that can give this value of future spot rate. So, you can buatlah. 
penyelesaian matematik ni ke sana kemari ke sana kemari you will get if the malaysia malaysia ni interest rate is 5.76% you will get future spot rate 2.75 nampak lagi rendah interest rate kita lagi appreciate duit kita okey ha gitu so that is a uh, international fisher effect so this one supposed to be your video 4 Okay, since we still have time, let's continue. Okay, we are still on video number three actually. We continue with purchasing power parity theory. Okay, purchasing power parity theory actually anak-anak sepupu to the international Fisher effect theory. Ha, okay, kenapa sepupu? You still, if you can still remember in video number two, Fisher effect theory says that the nominal interest rate Okay, bersamaan dengan real interest rate plus inflation. Maksudnya, inflation tu adalah part of the nominal interest rate. Jadi, kalau inflasi naik, inflation naik, the nominal interest rate will also increase. But in this theory, PPP theory, the focus will be between uh, the relationship between the inflation rate and the future futures change in the spot rate. Ha, itu je beza dia. Beza dia apa? Kalau IFE, kita guna interest rate, to forecast future spot rate under purchasing power parity kita guna inflation to forecast future spot rate ah gitu okey alright as we can see ah sama je kalau fa kita guna interest rate to forecast et but in the purchasing power parity kita guna inflation of these two country to forecast et why we can use inflation because ah uh, inflation is part of uh, of the interest interest rate okey Alright, uh, now let's take a look at example. Okay, dia kata referring to our example, then how much ringgit value of Singapore dollar change in order to equalize the Malaysian ringgit of good in these two country? Disebabkan inflasi tak sama, sekarang ni dia berada dalam disparity condition, bukan parity condition. Parity condition tu maksudnya sama je, inflation for both country. Tapi dalam case ni, inflasi tak sama. So, how, berapa, how much? Alright, this currency need to change in order to achieve the parity condition. Okay. Alright, soalan kata, how much should the ringgit value of Singapore dollar change? Berapa persen dia kena berubah in order to become a parity condition? Ha, jadi, harga barang kat Malaysia dengan Singapore nanti akan jadi sama. So, nak kena appreciate, depreciate berapa persen ni, this two uh, currency. So, first and foremost, kita cari ET. ET by using this formula lah. Okay, so... 1 plus I of home over 1 plus I of foreign country times EO. So, you will get the future spot rate by using inflation will be 2 ringgit and 85.65 cent per Singapore dollar lah. Okay. So, maksudnya sekarang, um, ringgit Malaysia akan appreciate of course sebab kita punya inflasi lebih rendah. Singapore dollar akan depreciate tapi berapa persen? Uh, soalan tanya how much? Should the ringgit change? Okay. Or should the uh, Singapore dollar change? Alright. So, we need to calculate the percentage change. Alright. In the currency. So, we will use this formula. E1 minus EO over EO. This one we have covered in chapter 4 to calculate depreciation and appreciation. So, bila kita kira-kira. Alright. This. All this value are in ringgit. Tapi jawapan nanti represent. Alright. The percentage change in the U, in the, in the Singapore dollar. So, we dapat negative 4.46. What does it mean? Singapore dollar has to depreciate by 4.46% in order to make sure lagi setahun pada sekarang harga semua barang in Malaysia in Singapore akan jadi sama. Kenapa? Sebab sekarang disparity. To achieve the the, the parity condition. Okay. Harga barang Malaysia Singapore sama je. Okay. Uh, Singapore dollar have to depreciate by 4.46%. Okay, uh, that's how to do it. Another, okay, in the case of Singapore and Malaysia, since Singapore inflation is 5% higher, alright, than of Malaysia, means Singapore dollar need to depreciate by 4.46% approximately against ringgit to reflect changes in the price level. Maksudnya, kena depreciate banyak ni. Uh, okay, supaya setahun pada sekarang tak ada beza untuk kita beli barang kat Malaysia ataupun barang dekat Singapore. Macam kes McDonald tadi eh. Okay. Alright, so another method to calculate the percentage, percentage change. Alright, tadi kita kira apa? Kita kira ET dulu. Alright, lepas tu kita kira percentage change. Boleh juga terbalik, kita kira percentage change dulu. Baru kita kira ET. If you want to calculate the percentage change first, this is the formula that you will use. 
you will take the inflation of, of home currency minus inflation of foreign currency over 1 plus inflation of foreign currency. Uh, contoh macam tadi eh. Kita guna contoh tadi bukan contoh macam tadi. Kita guna figure-figure tadi masukkan dalam ni. So terus kita dapat negatif 4.46 without having to calculate the future spot rate first. Okay. Ha, terus dapat Singapore kena berubah banyak ni. Ha, in order to achieve the parity condition. Lepas tu dengan kaedah ni kita boleh pula kira ET. Tadi kita kira ET dulu. Ha, sekarang kita kira change dulu. Percentage change. Nanti kita kira ET. How to calculate ET. ET equals to EO times 1 plus change in exchange rate. Okay. So spot rate tadi berapa? 2.99. So kita ambil satu tambah change. Tapi sebab change kita negatif terus letak negatif. Kalau change kat sini positif kita tam tambah. So since you get negative masuk into principle kita ke minus. So how much is the spot rate? Ha okey, future spot rate Malaysia will be 2.8566. Ah yang yang tadi kita dapat 2.8565 dia lari sikitlah decimal places tapi kalau bunda lagi besar dia lebih kurang je sama. Okey. So that's how to use this formula. Okey. Alright. So sama juga if we, uh, kita cuba uh, contoh ni inflasi kat US 5%, Singapore 3%. Uh, berapa banyak persen nak kena berubah kalau guna formula ni masukkan saja. Uh, jadi uh, US kena berubah banyak mana? Kena berubah for or kena depreciate by 4.46% in order to make sure harga barang kat Singapore dengan US akan sama one year from now. Okay. Practice make perfect. Okay. Sekarang dia bagi ringgit Malaysia 5.56 per GBP. Dia kata kalau UK inflation 5%, Malaysia pula inflation 3.5%, berapakah spot rate yang akan menyebabkan uh, kita tak ada beza beli barang dekat uh, London dengan dekat Malaysia. Okay. So first we will calculate the percentage change. Berapa GBP kena berubah? GBP kena depreciate by 1.43%. Okay. And later, calculate pula spot rate nampak tak? Malaysia... Uh, perlu appreciate sampai jadi RM5.48 okay, barulah tak ada beza sama ada to buy current, uh, good and services in Malaysia dengan to buy good and services in UK okay, selalu soalan lebih kurang nilai eh? okay, see you in our next video